We're gonna go ahead and install our replacement headlights. You're gonna locate those right on the front of your vehicle. Once you have your hood open, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our ground terminal on our battery. Using our 10 millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the nut. I'm gonna disconnect the whole unit off of the battery. I want to go ahead and replace our headlights. Now we're going to go ahead and also remove our upper radiator support cover. This is not necessary. However, it does make the job a bit easier. I'm going to use our trim tool. And we're going to remove all of these buttons across the complete cover here. Go ahead and pop our cover up. Once we have all of our buttons removed, Go ahead, lift up the cover and set it aside. Go up inside the driver's side wheel well, we're gonna find this little access panel. There's a trim button right here, we're gonna use our trim tool, pop out the center of that button, and then take out the rest. That's gonna allow us to gain access in behind our headlamp. So when you reach in through this little pocket in the fender well liner, we're gonna locate a white plastic vertical clip. We're going to grab the bottom of that clip. We're going to push it upward. That'll unlatch the back side of our headlamp. And right in line with the edge of your grill in the top corner of your headlamp, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. We're going to use our gear wrench, loosen and remove this. Go ahead and spin out that bolt the rest of the way. Once you remove that, go ahead and set it aside. Now down here on the left hand side of that headlamp, we're going to find another 10 millimeter bolt. So we're gonna use a couple extensions to get down inside there and loosen that bolt. Now at this point right here, we're able to loosen the bolt. Can't take it out yet because it's way down below and well, our socket's not gonna hold that bolt. So don't forget that that is sitting down there. Now that we have those two bolts loose and our clip is loose in the back, there is a stud in here with a ball on it that's popped into a socket. We're going to reach in behind the pocket in the fender liner, reach in the back and just kind of bump the back corner of the headlight forward. Be careful to hold this. Go ahead and grab our headlamp. We're going to work this out. On the back of our headlight here, we want to have some, some little plastic studs here holding our harness in place. This is a good point where we can put our extension down inside get to that 10 millimeter bolt. And as we work this headlight, loosen that stud the rest of the way. Once that's loose, you're gonna feel the headlight pop up and out. All right, now that we have it out, go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter stud from the other side. Set that aside. Let's go ahead and disconnect our lights here now. Let's disconnect our harness right here. We're gonna use a small pocket screwdriver. Just gonna pry up gently on our little locking clip right here. Press down on this tab. I'm gonna work that connector out. On our corner light here, we have a red lock tab. So at this point here, we wanna go ahead and use our pry tool. I'm gonna get in here and gently work our lock tab out. Pinch the tab. And on the back side of our new lamp, there is a harness. We're gonna find our connector right here. And our newly supplied connector can only fit one way because it is keyed. Simply line this up, press it in, and you'll hear it snap into place. Now on the back of our new harness, we have three connectors. One is gonna be labeled low beam. This one here is gonna be our marker light. This one here is gonna be for our resistor unit here for our LED operation. Our headlamp comes with an LED resistor right here and it has a connector or a pigtail on the backside. We're gonna go ahead and stick this to the inside of our frame section right here. We went ahead and cleaned the inside of the metal frame right here with some uh, rubbing alcohol. 
And the reason why we're placing it down on the frame here is that when we install our headlamp assembly, we want to make sure that it's going to not interfere with the installation. So this is down below the light. It's going to connect our harness here for our LED unit. Snap that into place. We have two wires here. One of them is listed as low beam. That is going to go to our inside connector right here. Snap that in, press our lock on. This one here is going to go to our turn signal assembly. Snap that in, press our lock button in. I'm going to go ahead and install our light assembly. I want to install the inboard part of the lamp first. Kind of line that up. At the same time, we want to go ahead and tuck our wires inside. Now when we line this up, there is a ball stud right here. This is going to line up with an insert on the inside. Once it's in there, we're going to push our headlamp straight back and it should snap into place. Now at this point, go ahead and get our upper 10 millimeter nut started. Going to zip that in by hand as far as you can. Now in order to get this long bolt in, it has to drop down way behind the back side of our light down here. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape on here. I'm going to put my bolt in and tape it there. That's going to keep that from falling out. Let's go ahead and put this down inside. Now that we have that bolt in there, let's go ahead and tighten that down. All right, I'm just going to snug that down into place. Let's get and tighten down our upper bolt right here. Let's get and use our gear wrench and we'll snug down this upper bolt. Just snug it a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it. Install our upper radiator shroud. Going to press our plastic button into place. I'm just going to continue this process across the top. Make sure that your retainer tab lines up there. Pop that on. Now before we close up our flap on the inside of the fender liner, we do want to reach up inside, grab that white retaining lock tab and pull it down. You'll hear it snap and lock into place. Bring our flap up, install our button base, and our lock. It's so going to reconnect your battery. Go ahead and tighten this down. Now at this point here, you want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, test out your lights high and low beam and adjust them as necessary. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're going to see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center, and that is the access point, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just going to pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm going to put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're going to start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're going to go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're going to cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're going to see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up. 
and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.